qualities where you are strong so that will be your assessment journal of leadership that you can use further after this fdp then only the output of fdp will be there that uh, if you could uh, improve your leadership skills somewhat that is one assessment then second assessment will be leadership styles we will discuss in afternoon and uh, you can assess your own leadership styles uh, so that assessment uh, will be only of decision type leadership because time is very less and we cannot uh, go for all the styles there are so many styles and uh, to assess exact your style will require a yeah. lot of time uh, yes sir you can share ma'am okay thank you sir open and share and just uh, screen na uh, go through the menu bar just share option ha huh. uh, ha then desktop uh, not desktop just select the file ha uh, select the share option select menu. file browse no, the file, file aaya, no file i have selected and then the share option i have clicked sir uh, see the file option left hand no side. not file option there is a share no. option uh, directly here file. arrow uh, not not on arrow if you then, go for the top ha 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 yes yes there share, option. There is a share option yes sorry i forgot file edit share and share and so my screen file. my screen uh, or file no not select file file, file uh, including video yes sir. The file. and then just browse your file my acha uh, PowerPoint. Can you see my PPT? No, ma'am. No. Because I just cannot share file option. Cannot share file option. Ma'am, share ko option hai file edit and share. Share file. Uh, share. Uh, uh, file just select the file which you want to share there are so many files have come sir ha uh, select uh, is 16 full is open now select single file which you want to share Yes, it's opening because I kept it open, but that is not observed in the option. File open is not option. I have just opening from the my folder. Your screen is visible right now. My screen is visible. Okay, right. Can you see my PPT? Yes, madam. Screen is visible. But that blinking, blinking has started. I don't know. Ma'am, uh, banner is showing there. No, but now that uh, open PPT option was not shown. So I have started see ability investigates. Huh. No, I will stop now that. You are uh, just uh, getting my PPT, right? Can you see my PPT? Can you see my PPT? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let us start. Uh, good morning, all of you. Um, I would like to just first offer my sincere thanks uh, to the management and all the university authorities of GH Raisuni University, Saikeda and school of sciences who organize this fdp and uh, thanks to all the organizing committee members uh, of this fdp let us start with my session my session is first session is on leading self and leading others so i'm dr mrs mangal hemant the secretary 
of Vihangam Techno Holistic Organization. My introduction is already given to you. So very warm welcome to all of you in my session. So let us discuss about my session, how I have designed my session. My design uh, is like this, uh, as we are teacher, we must design our every session considering Bloom's taxonomy. Uh, so we have to involve the participants head, hand and heart. So this session is based on that cognitive domain, psychomotor domain and affirmative domain. So be attentive because there will be a lot of appreciation uh, from uh, Vihangam. So let us see. First, I hope that you will understand, you will know. Knowing uh, dimension will be covered. What is mean by leading self and leading others? And then psychomotor domain means you will do learning by doing exercises are there. <clears throat> you will do it and then hot involvement has to be there. So let us start uh, this. Let us see who will be winner of this first session. First session is of leading self and leading others. So content of my session is that just now I am discussing first content. Then I will discuss objectives of my session because we have to design objectives and outcome. Because if we don't design objective and outcome, I don't think the session will be really fruitful just by discussing some concept and theoretical and you will listen and you will go. No, we have to get some outcome from this session. Then I will introduce what is leadership, why, what is it, why is it, why we have to lead, why we have to know about the leaders and leadership and to whom we have to lead. Okay, leadership from my view starts leading self. If I lead myself, then only I can lead others and then I can only lead organization and then only I can lead my society. So leadership starts from self. So whom to lead we'll discuss. And then in brief, I will talk about the top leadership skills. Then most important part of this session will be assessing individual personality. Because leading self, when I will lead myself, when I know myself truly, what are my strengths, what are my challenges, what are my trance and my fear. And then only I can lead myself. And when leading other um, is uh, questionable, when I can lead others, when my when my team members will be fully known to me then how i can know my team leaders how i can assign them work how i can get most of them uh, from their uh, skills and talents i must know so this requires to know ourselves and to know others also so we will assess it and then if i will assess my own personality you are going to assess your own personality so definitely you will come to know your strengths and weakness and then you will also apply the same model to the others, to your team members to assess them. And then the combination can be find out to whom we can grow really and to whom we can just threaten or will be challenging. Because this professional companionship, this model is mostly used in all topmost organizations to enhance their outcome. As FDP is enhancing personal outcome and enhancing organizational outcome, this model is used and popularly uh, being used for enhancing outcome. So you will assess today your own strengths. Then after that, one group discussions will be there or personal reflections will be there because breakout room is not possible. I came to know from organizer. So that can be the self-reflection. Be attentive. If you will reflect on your own personality, what you understood from this session, then uh, appreciation is there. Group uh, activity not there, but self individual activity will be there. So note down about yourself, your own qualities you have to reflect at the end. And then we will see questions, answers and suggestions. Now, what are the objectives of this first session? So, of course, objective has to be always self joy and well being. Because if we will enjoy any activity, if we'll take interest in any activity, then really learning outcome enhances. So this we should not attend for the sake of only attending FDP and getting certificate. But our objective should be enjoying the moment, enjoying the session. So be comfortable and enjoy this session. Then next my objective of designing session, cultivating persons or leaders. Who are motivated? Now you have joined this FDP. So definitely you are interested on becoming leader and just uh, 
that leadership has to cultivate so this is the objective if you are thinking in a good leadership style or a good leader then you must get benefited then next object is stimulating individual and overall growth because organizer has kept this fdp for the for enhancing personal and organizational outcome so we have to see by growing developing our leadership styles it will definitely help to our organization and overall growth and support leaders if you are a leader because i conduct this uh, type of sessions for leaders also so if you are a leader then it will help you to learn more and with the team and reflect and refine so reflecting and refining your style qualities is most important now i think that if you will attend this session very attentively with very careful listening and utilizing your head hand and heart too then outcome will be you will grasp you will be able to grasp essential leadership concepts qualities and skills then you will be able to gain excuse me yes yes hello sir sir hello sir hello sir 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 ashish sir Nadu madam, is there any problem? Ah, uh, no ma'am. Hello. Uh, maybe yes ma'am. Ah? Uh? Hello. Yeah. Maybe some line issue. I think so. Now, uh, Mangal ma'am, now your PPT is showing. Now it is visible. Yes, ma'am. PPT is showing, but it is not moving. Good morning, madam. PPT is now moving, ma'am. Sorry, uh, because uh, yes, what so happened, I don't know. I, I share the PPT. Movable also. Yes. Now, can you see this? Ma'am, Anju, ma'am, can you see yes, this? Yes, madam. Yes. Okay. So yes, let us go ahead. Uh, this. So session one, I just talk. I just talk about the content. Uh, all this uh, to whom we will lead. The more important thing of this session is whom to lead. so i just focus on leading ourselves and leading others not leading society and organization i spoke about the objectives supporting leaders and stimulating and this now outcome i was discussing so if you will attend this session very carefully then outcome will be grasping essential leadership concepts and qualities and you will be able to gain the perspective to enhance your personal and professional leadership because i have told that you will give marks to your qualities and that will be your agenda for the future where you have to put your energy focusing and if you will start focusing on that qualities definitely your leadership styles or qualities will be improving so you will gain perspective today where you are standing and where you have to move 
then you will also able to learn, reflect, refine, and assess your individual qualities and skills. You will able to decide what actions and avenues are required to become a popular leader. So as I will discuss quality, you go on giving marks, open the journal, share to you, and just make your goal statement after the session. Then know you will be also able to know Enneagram model. This Enneagram model I am taking from uh, Daniel model, which is very popular in the world. So that will you will get uh, help and that is most accurate. Today you will come to know your personality styles that will be help to lead yourself. And once you will start leading yourself, definitely you will start leading others and day by day leading organization, then leading society. And then you will be also able to evaluate your personality type. So that is the outcome of the session. So let us start about the leadership. So leadership in my view is the action of leading a group. Ma'am has told. So ma'am told that leadership is inspiring others, motivating others. Means leading a group. Suppose five team members are there. So who will be leader of that team? The one who will demonstrate others to come ahead. Suppose I ask the question in the beginning, who lead? So that is definitely going to lead the organization also. If you start leading in a small group, then definitely leading means it is you have to come forward and you have to do actions, whatever are desired. So doing actions, action of leading a group is the leadership it is not the dictatorship or telling orders and just the authority because many times authority and leaders are misunderstood so leadership is the ability of an individual or a group of individuals to guide see most important if we want to become a popular leader topmost leader of our organization of our society we must able to guide the others so leadership starts with the guidance and if you want to guide, then definitely you have to be perfect. You have to be role model. Then only people will listen to you and your guidance. So leadership is the journey of guidance. Then it is the process of persuasion or with by example, induces a group of pursuing objectives. So this is just persuade others to follow you. You answer and lead others to give the answers. You come ahead, make others to come ahead. That is the leadership, persuading others. So leadership is the art of motivating a group of people or to act toward achieving a common goal. So whatever is the goal, in direction to the goal, leadership is the person who will just march in a direction of goal. It is also action of leading a group of people or organization, I told People have long confused. I told you that dictatorship, heroism, authority is just confused with the leadership. So leadership is the action, not position. So leaders are not head of department. Leaders are not the uh, university authority. Leaders are the who come ahead, inspire people, guide people, and just make them follow on the same path in the goal direction so it is not the hero ship it is a collective term and not the individual term so that is about the leadership so let us i will just uh, skip uh, this uh, video it's a two minute video just i am now managing the time so why now leadership is important why leadership is important why we have to lead others? Because developing our own leadership, invitational leadership, there are different types of leadership. When leader will born, so leader will born depending upon the situations, invitations and crises. There is also emotional, intelligent leadership, adaptive leadership. So learning to assess and assessing our own values, need for change and value priority setting for bright future. Suppose I want my future should be very bright, then I must learn leadership. I must become leader. I must able to assess my own values. I take all these sessions on the value, value prioritization. If we set our values, if we give priority to our value, definitely it will be giving us the bright future. 
so it starts from leadership so we must lead ourselves we must lead others for this it is very important then for assessing our employees if i am a authority also then i will require to assess the people's and employers leadership personality also so that is very important why we have to need this and today leadership has become very popular because according to world economic survey 50% reskilling needs are there so we are educating our students and what we are educating whether we are giving them leadership knowledge whether we develop their skills and qualities because 50% leadership reskilling needs as there so see your eq emotional quotient is important social quotient is important community services are important behavior quotient is important and leadership is also top most ten priority according to national education policy so now aict has also started giving funding lot of huge funding for leadership fdps so i thought this is also under that now if you see according to the world economic survey top must train employment skills are there and that by year 2025 50 percent reskilling is there and in this top 10 skill also leadership and social influence is very important and therefore we must learn about the leadership now question comes whom to lead so as i told first we must learn to lead self and then if i can lead myself then only i can lead others and if i am able to lead myself first and lead others then definitely i am going to lead organization and definitely i am going to lead the society so if my journey if you'll see i first started leading myself by guidance inspiration self-motivation self-encouragement and then i become the motivator and inspirer coacher counselor of my students then my teachers and then now today means in previously then this made me to work as head of department for 12 years i was the best administrator consequently three years i got the awards from my management and now today i am leading the society because I am now founder and secretary of Vihangam Technologistic Organization. So this process of becoming leader of the society is step by step by step. You cannot jump here directly. So this has to be there. So let us see how we can progress from this to this step. So today our agenda is only this. Because this leadership I usually conduct a work one week workshops. Definitely you will learn more from that. So today we will just see how we can lead ourselves and lead others <clears throat> now whom to learn why to learn personal well-being is very important for my personal development and for my well-being i must lead myself and if i have to lead myself i have to know myself very truly and really this personality assessment helps us very very nicely so today you just spend uh, 10 15 minutes you will know about yourself in detail and definitely that will help you not to lead yourself but lead others also so first learning by doing exercise is now this also i am skipping so this was the small test on pollev.com otherwise it will take long time how many participants are there can i know ma'am and you ma'am Yes, madam. How many participants are there? Madam, uh, uh, total 487 participants is there. Maximum 80. participants are joined from uh, YouTube channel. Okay. No, oh. that, that is not the issue because it was on polyeverywhere.com. Let us, I am just skipping it. So, top leadership skills. So, we will just talk about the top leadership skills and then uh, it will just uh, give brief idea. So if we talk about the top leadership skills, strategic thinking is very important. Then change management, communication, you can understand communication has to be very strong and very effective. Then persuasion and influence has to be there. People management has to be there. Planning and delivery has to be there. 
so if we want to become a good leader then journey starts from the inspiration guidance as i told so this is the most important quality persuasion and influence ma'am has told initially when i asked influence but i asked what type of influence so influencing others means encouraging others so encouraging others to help you achieve your vision by demonstrating its advantages so influencing to what influencing to our own goal what is my objective what is my goal then i must influence you then communication now this not only the verbal communication not only the written communication but non spoken no without words also communication is there so nowadays this is very advanced communication technology communicating vibrationally this is not the topic but you just said that this is also very perfect change management whatever incidences are their systems are their procedures are there one has to become a change manager then only he or she becomes the leader because visions and plans has to be made according to the situations and recognizing the response or recognizing the future and of course leader has to able to manage the people's finding the right people and motivating them to work your vision so if we know the personality of others also definitely we can pair them for the team we can assign the team work according to their strengths and according to their weakness this was my specialty when i used to be head of department i used to see the talent among the faculty and the strengths and according to that i have to assign the uh, work to them and that helped me a lot to grade department to grow department with a fast speed development speed was two or third times than the other departments so this is very important planning and delivery has to be there because this goal setting we just see manifestation planning delivery towards our the goals and work and assign objectives has to be there and the leader has to be thinker also strategic thinking how we can march in the direction of vision what can be the vision so that is the important thing so these all the skills are required for the top level management middle level management lower level management depending upon what we are expecting suppose i want to start my leadership journey then i have to see what lower level management skills are they require so conceptual skills are there human skills are there technical skills are there so see for lower level, lower level management what is required formulating program and policy and cultural agility and uh, then for middle level there are all the three types of skills are required human skills are also required for middle level management negotiation resolving conflict this is very important supervision and delegation of authority then uh, you can just see top level management skills are required in visioning and scanning environment and organization human literacy that is what i told we must know others personality we must able to give or assign the uh, work by their personality from recognizing their personal attributes so that is about the skills <coughs> now as i told that leadership begins with the leading self so who will lead self so leading self qualities are agency curiosity and humility now you open the journal i request all of you open the journal because today you will give marks out of five i will go on discussing the quality briefly you give yourself five marks to all this quality and then we will see uh, who could do first first means a correct assessment has to be there <coughs> so see when we want to lead ourselves our quality is required a agency we must have agency curiosity i don't have curiosity what is going on in fdp just i have just joined the fdp i am not attending the session i have log in but i am not attentive so what is the curiosity if you want to lead self then you must have curiosity everywhere what is going on what is being happening how is the session going on what is taken and this definitely mold ourselves into a leader <clears throat> so if we want to lead ourselves we must have curiosity this is very highest 
quality is required for the leader if you don't have curiosity you will not get the guidance and knowledge and then you will not able to give guidance to others if you don't have knowledge then how you can give guidance to the people how you can inspire them how you can motivate them if you don't have curiosity so start from the self <clears throat> develop ourselves first have a lot of knowledge and then humility so let us discuss it <coughs> excuse me actually my throat is not well so agency agency is the capacity condition or state of acting of exerting power providing a particular service on behalf of other business person or group agency means what suppose ourselves i want to lead myself today i want to give fdp and if i don't have agency means what i don't have the capability myself that i will say no i want to give this session and somebody says no 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 you can't give it and i don't have just guts in my no i will cross that person and i will say no i want to give i will give because i want to give my service to raisuni gs raisuni college university so whether i have agency to deliver my session myself or i am relying on others to have the permission or just um, asking them and if my, i will not get permission can i just do this service so a leading ourselves starts from agency so focus on you in your home start from the home whether you do any work beyond dependent on your husband or your students or your colleagues uh, children or your spouse whether you have agency to do anywhere whatever you want it regarding a particular service or particular work or anything you want to design that is called the agency ask yourself in your home takes incidents that now today you have to go somewhere whether you can go yourself without getting permission of others that is the agency then humility so humility is being humble to ourselves so whether we are humble to ourselves or the persons in our team freedom from pride and arrogance this is our self leading self so we have to see ourselves how we just behave ourselves whether we are humble to ourselves myself whether i have quality of being humble to myself i am stretching 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 so many hours i am working can i give humbleness to my brain can i give humbleness to my hand like that so this should be moderate if we want to lead ourselves it is also the quality or condition of being humble modest opinion estimate of one's own importance here i am telling when you will lead yourself if you are respectful to yourself you are humble to yourself self honesty self respect is there like that you can understand self humbleness is there then we can lead ourselves so this is the journal open leadership journals start grading your skills and decide your goals for your skill improvement so this is the assignment just doing learning by doing so i will ask you reflection when i stop this quality okay side by side you listen give marks out of 5 side by side you listen give marks out of 5 and tell me your score okay so leading self agency curiosity humility i just explain you you give marks out of 5 or whether i have agency be honest up because i have observed many give five out of five or zero or one out of five so you should not have such a things you should have humility in you have a modest opinion about yourself your own modest opinion about yourself so i will immediately know your humility and how you have assessed yourself whether it is over assessing or whether it is poor assessing don't underestimate yourself don't overestimate yourself think a fraction of second one minute and then give out of five marks now if we want to lead others because today session is leading self and leading others if we want to lead others then what is the requirement 
communication my communication should be efficient what i am talking with you you must understand because i am taking session i am communicating you how i am communicating you very passively i am just going talking 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 and you are listening 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 you are not understanding is it effective communication no at all my communication if it is effective then only i can lead others so effective interchange of ideas whatever idea generate in me i must able to communicate to you very effectively information i must able to give and i must have feelings with others that is what i told heart involvement has to be there in our session heart to heart connection then only feelings arises without heart feelings will not arise so whether i am able to have some connections with you whether i just succeed to generate some type of feeling among you that you will answer at this session end so whether communication is with the feeling or no and that's why i said even if i will not speak any words no communication verbally no communications in written still i can communicate with you on vibration basis and that is nothing but the feelings okay so communications with the information with the ideas and feelings ask yourself how you communicate you out of five marks then you can say whether you lead others or no can you lead then most important next quality is required is conflict management so now see one incidents uh, let us see i am driving to the, my college and accident has occurred on the road somebody has fallen down and immediately i skip that and i just drive myself ahead because i don't like conflict and i will see oh then police will call me he will go on asking me why i should wait why had to stop it means i am running away from the conflict means i don't have conflict management something happens in my class some student uh, is quarrel is there and i am i am just leaving the room because i don't want to waste my time and i don't have the skill of managing conflict something is happening in the house we just see our spouse or our children somebody will just keep quiet and if we don't have such a skills of managing conflict then my dear participant we can't lead others if we want to lead others we must have conflict management skills identifying and handling conflict sensibly fairly and efficiently and here for just getting understanding i will tell you always from the beginning of my teaching i used to be managing conflict unnecessary somebody will scold to somebody i used to ask them i used to guide them i used to counsel them and uh, then i was thinking in the middle span these are all my bad qualities but today i realize no due to that qualities today i have become a social leader so many people i am guiding counseling mentoring so i must have such a situations in the home also we must have to identify reasons and handle them fairly this is very important not biased so if we can manage conflict fairly whoever my son is there but i will scold my son if i found a mistake my teacher my department my institute i will be not partial then only it become it gives our good leadership so give you marks then mentoring <clears throat> influencing guiding and giving direction as someone who has experience in that situation or field so whether i have mentoring ability no government has restricted us that we should mentor our students how we mentor our students how much time we spend for the students whether i i have that skills whether i take that opportunities or i just keep the records or just the documents so this mentoring skill has to be good has to be influencing has to be guiding and has to give the direction to the someone so this will bring ourselves to lead the others successfully so give marks to you then leading organization diagnosis i must diagnose the problem what are the problems in my organization generally we have the problems we know the problems but we never provide the situation 
Diagnosis means just we should be able to provide the situations and so digging deeply into identifying a problem through examination. So when we start doing this, then only we can lead the organization. So as a staff member, I used to see what are the problems of my department, what goes well, what don't work well, and then how I can improve myself. And then that gave us the bond of the leadership leading the organization, means not the authority. So innovation, bringing about a new and more improved way of doing things. So how I am just giving lectures, whether innovations are there or no. So you just start doing the things very innovatively. And I started my teaching. And today I am an international educator in pedagogy, engineering pedagogy. I have specialty in pedagogy, especially how to teach. I conduct so many FDPs for that, teaching advanced tools and techniques and pedagogy. Because of this, my innovation skills and qualities. So you ask yourself whether you are doing simple job innovatively. Can you bring new things? in an improved way in your organization, department. So that will bring you a self or just give growth to yourself to lead the organization. And most important is system thinking also. Suppose problems are there in organization, but in system thinking approach, we had to see from inside to outside, uh, outside and outside to inside. Means suppose our home problem is in our home. Then system thinking will allow us start from home to the college organization outside. Means inside to outside. What goes well? Why problem has come in my home? Start thinking from the road, where I go to the college, how I go to the college, what happens in the college. Problem might be due to the college problems. The problem has arise in the home and it happens. So that uh, aspect is the system thinking. So if some problems are there in organization, university, then definitely we have to look inside ourselves and then outside us. So whether we have such a skills, then definitely we can lead organization. So when I got fellowship, I got the fellowship for the leadership program of USA, uh, 9.5 lakh fellowship I received. Uh, and they asked me questions in the interview, one and a half hour interview was going on. They asked me what are the problems in your organization and uh, how you would able to solve that. And definitely this is very important. You just go on investigating. Then how we can lead the society. So cross-border collaboration, working jointly with others who can come from different cultural, personal, professional backgrounds towards a shared goal. So cross-border, diversity has to be there. So if you want to lead society, do diversified work. Mix with other peoples, mix with other university peoples, mix with other, suppose you are from school of science, from engineering background, mix with doctor peoples, uh, that um, physical doctors, meet with uh, arts uh, faculties, and this will give just... Uh, developing yourself and my most uh, experience is that more and more we just work cross-border in different groups uh, we just develop a lot and definitely it helps us to grow and lead the society then critical thinking without any hesitations we should able to think very critically evaluating analyzing an issue and also give the judgment very critically then foresighting we must have a vision to see because see now AICT has just started a universal human value program. But before AICT could think, I just founded my organization in 2018 for holistic development. Because I just uh, understood the importance of this hello holistic education. So this foresighting ability has to be there if you want to lead the society. Okay. So that is the more very important skills. So I request you. Now you open the journal grade yourself already you had done side by side and goals you can just set later on but i required your score please put in chat box one minute i am giving you it should be pause also otherwise i can't catch you you must catch with 
you must go with me then we will start the next part <clears throat> yes yes come on just you give score participant you score <clears throat> you will score leading self 39 need total marks leading self leading others Sujata man, please give total marks, not only leading self. Come on, participant. Please give yourself marks. Journal is given to you or I discussed all the qualities. Very good. Sujata ma'am 53. Sujata ma'am 53. Good. Okay. Anybody else? Or only Sujata ma'am is assessing. Now Sujata ma'am, you can just see where you gave very less marks to yourself. That can be your goal statements. Really, if you want to improve yourself as a leader or you want to develop your leadership skills, start from today. Set the goal statement for that quality. And then that will be your agenda of developing the skills. Okay. So no other reflection. Just one minute, I will wait. Are you attending participant? Are you attending attentively? Yes, participant, are you listening me? If you are listening me, just put your score. If you are not listening me, next part of the session I will just take without any interaction. Just, just, just exhale. I will not assess your personality except Sujata ma'am. Participant, yes. Okay, Shalini ma'am. Good, thank you Shalini ma'am. Shalini Prajapati. 50 marks. Good. Okay, let us go ahead. So now let us see about the Enneagram model. So what is that Enneagram model? So what is it? It is a useful tool to understand our own personality, strengths and challenges in my life, own my life. What challenges I am putting myself? What challenges will come ahead? What are my strengths? What is my personality? Because I want to lead myself now. If I want to lead myself, I must know how I can cover challenges. Instead of just looking how can, what can be the challenges to me and where I can excel. So let us do that. This So there are nine personality according to Daniel model, which I am taking because it is worldwide popular. So nine personality are there and just assess yourself. Shalini ma'am and Sujata ma'am, you assess yourself. Really, then there will be really outcome of this today's session. So among these nine personality, one is the most dominant. Now, if nine personalities are there, we always have combination. There are nine numbers. One, my personality is number one. I am perfectionist. So when I could understand I am perfectionist, I started reducing my stress level. I started performing more efficiently. And I started just respecting myself too much. And just I, my performance also improved because I am the perfectionist. See the today's example, today's presentation. If uh, this model I would not have used, then I would have just said myself, oh, I could not share PPT, oh, time lag, so much time spent, how I can cover. And then this, my session did not went well. But when I came to know, no, my personality is number one, perfectionist. 
then i understood i should not over stress myself because i am idealistic so definitely it would have gone well so why to worry for that 5% so this will also help you to understand yourself so let us start that that miniagram model is important so it is used for explaining what is considered nine personality suppose there are five people in my team so i must know their personality number if i know their personality number then depending upon that i can just see their talents their weakness what are their trans where they fear and i will take care and then i can become good leader so model is widely used to study dominant behavior so i told you out of nine personality i am four five combination also but where i am standing most which quality is more in myself so there you have to assess yourself to study dominant behavior traits then to better understand the abilities and weakness of an individual you know when we just uh, stand or just sit for the interview the people ask what is your strength weakness that model is there sort analysis is there so to make the most out of one's gift so if i will know what is my strength that will be gift to me so really when i got my personality one it was gift to me oh i am perfectionist i am idealistic so today you are going to give gift to yourself you will know much more about you means there will be stamp quality stamp your personality number one who are you there will be stamp on your head so that is the gift to you then to understand the challenges that one's personality might pose for him okay you will be gifted but at the same the traits to your personality will be given to you so you will be also challenge with that how to overcome that so let us take photograph of this i request you whoever are attending session please take photograph of this so if your personality will come to number 1 then you can read your fear so my fear is being wrong i told you so being wrong my fear i need everything perfectly all right if something goes wrong no i will just start caring from the beginning nothing should go wrong oh no network should happen oh network should go well oh my presentation should finish in time oh participant should give answers fear of being wrong oh or excessive fear my personality but i have read this nowadays so i i have not uh, again assess myself this goes on changing or uh, day by day we improve we grow our personality goes on changing so today i am very relaxed even if everything went uh, wrong in the beginning no network no ppt sharing i am enjoying the session because of this model one number i could assess myself no desire being right always desire we should be right there should not be wrong and then trans is <coughs> trans is self right is critical so this is over excessiveness that critical things so take photo of this model then to whom we can i can grow well i am just discussing myself for understanding huh? how to use this model so model 1 is there so i am having companionship very good with personality number 7 so there will be arrow in different picture <coughs> that picture also photograph you take in this picture it is not shown so i will grow with personality 7 so whoever is personality 7 daily tenth personality i should do professional work with such a people and i really followed this i found in my college who is personality 7 i started discussing with that person and just having companionship doing professional work so together we filed um, our um, patent and then now on 10th my patent last stage interview is going to be there and she got a patent awarded too so really if we will have work our professional work <coughs> or any type of works with such a combinations really it grows well but stressful combination for me is personality four who are individualized so then i started avoiding personal four 
not spending time with them too much because I came to know this is stressful combination, challenging, forget personality for, for my own growth or just companionship or doing professional work. So this model is used in organization. Just they assess uh, their uh, employees' uh, personality to assign from the teamwork and then really it helps them to enhance the personal outcome and organizational outcome, which is the theme of this MDP. Okay, so take this photograph. Let us move ahead. So why this Enneagram model? We have to do that because we can also examine ourselves, how we relate ourselves and relate others and the our world. So I just told that uh, leading myself requires humble. And I came to know oh, I am perfectionist, I am idealistic, means I am overstressing myself, being right, being right, being right, no wrong mistake should happen. And then I came to know I am just overstressing myself, I should relax myself when something went wrong. So that help us a very lot. How to use this? I am telling with my example. Then Enneagram can be used to understand the behavior of an individual. Understanding our behavior. <clears throat> then unlocking our gifts. And then fine tune ourselves when dealing with others. So I told with whom we can grow and with whom we can stress. So by utilizing the Enneagram, one can begin to transform patterns of emotions. Really, it helped me. In my USA leadership program, I came to know I am model one. I am personal one. And that helped me to reduce my stress and my emotions. Whenever I go wrong, whenever I don't uh, do it in a right things as my expectations, then uh, my emotions starts changing. Nowadays, I have controlled my emotions, something went wrong, I just leave and forget. So it helps us to reduce and transform our patterns of emotions, our psychological rigidity and become more present to self and others, whereas caregiver or in personal relationship. So this helps in our personal relationships also in our home also that we should not expect from a house, we should not expect too much from our children because we are idealistic. Means our expectation is 100%, more than 100%. So this help us in our personal life also. Today you find out. So it will help in better understanding what works best for us, what are weakness, challenges and our organizational outcome can be improved with that. So benefits of Enneagram model, meta-awareness, at the level of motivation, you will motivate yourself today because there will be stamp on your head. Then consciousness and confidence will come out. Oh, you are that type of personality. Then clearing your emotions, compassing, compassion with others and self. Take this photograph, your arrows are shown. So uh, this uh, name are little bit different here, but uh, they are uh, synonyms, just the same meaning. Okay. So now see, um, take this photograph. So see personality number one. So where is green arrow going? This one number is connected to the two, seven and four. So out of seven and four, one uh, companionship is strong, healthy. So green arrow, green arrow shows healthy companionship. So one will grow very well with seven. But one will be challenging, stressful to four. So whether we should form a team of one, seven and four? Yes or no? Answer. Whether you as a leader, suppose you want to lead in a team, then you have to enhance the outcome of the team. So whether you will assign that personality one, seven, okay. One and seven will excel. But if personality four will be there, what will happen to that? So it will be challenging to one. Okay, so let us see that. Now assess yourself. Ma'am, I have given PDF um, participant. Uh, Anju ma'am has spared some PDF. There are different paragraphs. You start reading that paragraphs. Uh, ma'am, have you given? We will start assessment of your personality styles, your qualities. That will help you to grow well. And let us open that link. Link is also given to ma'am. 
she has also spared one pdf anjuman yes madam i gave to all participant in their group and also in all in yes. email id participant you open the document which is shared in your whatsapp group uh, that and then start grading yourself so there are different paragraphs a b c d e f g h i you read that document and just you will feel that uh, two or three paragraphs are applicable to you but you have to find out the most ones first find out three then out of three again read that three and then you just find out uh, that which is most uh, applicable to you just 10 minutes required because there should be grab gap otherwise your brain will not catch me open that start reading because there has to be reading also there has to be listening also all organ work has to be there ear bloom's taxonomy you are using ear to listen if you are online live attentive then second you are reading means just some higher level cognitive knowing domain you are reading yourself read yourself because by reading learning outcome is enhanced not only by listening you read yourself you conclude yourself abstract thinking has to be there start <clears throat> you just give me your paragraph after you come to your conclusion at least i am expecting from the two participants i think only two are attentive sujata ma'am and shalini ma'am i hope you will give me your paragraphs i will wait take a pause yes thank you shalini ma'am so you have to reflect on the takeaway of this session no huh? in next session you will we will start from reflection what is your personality and what you came to know about yourself because then what is the use of attending fdp at least you should come to know where are you standing
So I am very happy that uh, all answers are of uh, given majority answers. Many two, three, four answers are there. I am very happy with that. But it is very surprising to me. All have given reflection personality C C C paragraph C C C. So as the students answer comes same in assignment here is also happening same. What is the wonder? So all are all of you. R C Dr. Sarosh, you have given paragraph A and C. Please find out most suitable to you. Now, while giving, uh, <coughs> while finalizing paragraph, you have to think who are you applicable to you, not you have to think what is the idealistic things to you. You should not think what is idealistic. You should think what are you, your own at present, assess in that direction. And come to conclusion one, Dr. Saroj, A or C. So all our personality C and first reflection is given by Dr. Neelam. Can I know your surname? Dr. Neelam, can I know your surname? Can you unmute? Can you talk? Dr. Neelam, Chalini ma'am C, Sujata ma'am C. So personality C means 9. Paragraph C means 9. So write down your personality 9. You are personality number 9 means peacemaker. All of you are peacemaker and mediator. Your personality is mediator. Peacemaker. So let us discuss that only. I will not discuss others. I usually discuss only personality from the participant because all cannot be covered once. Okay, so let us start. Good. So, now you have assessed your personality, you are peacemaker. So, this you had just, uh, it was informed to you. Read all the paragraph. And now I will request you read this paragraph again and again after the session also. And then you think it. Because it goes on changing also. Now I also felt I should uh, again assess myself. Because that happened two years back. I assessed myself. So now personality C. The paragraph C means type 9. So you write down your personality 9. So you got the two pictures. Now where is the personality 9? Be a peacemaker. And relationship with these two numbers. You write down 3 and 6. So, you can grow very well with one loyalist and the achiever. This is the combination to whom with you can grow and who you are also threatened. So, let us see that personality 9 is the mediator. So, here what are others positions? See personality 9. Just let me go back. If you have taken that uh, snap. See, so personality 9. So personality 9 can grow very well with green arrow. Even some participants have not answered. For them I am telling later on also you can read the paragraph. You can find out the most one paragraph where you stand now today. And from that paragraph you can get your personality number. And after getting your personality number what is the use of this model I am telling you. How you can use this. So, if it is the personality 9, now majority 4 uh, people have given personality 9. So, personality 9 can grow very well with the green arrow. So, from the 9, where the green arrow is going? 3. So, personality 9 can grow very well with the achiever. So, you find out person surrounding you who achu, 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 achu. Okay. So, there are many persons who achu, but most you have to find out that personality 3. So, you can give assessment to your friends, to your colleagues, in your team, in your department, in your college and then find out your growth to with whom you can grow and just start having companionship with the personality 3 and really it will help you in paper publication, to make many awards, to do the research work, just doing collaborative research development. Please mute yourself. Please mute yourself. Please mute yourself. Please, 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 Please,
शालिनी मैम प्लीज मीट योर सेल्फ इनका टारगेट ले लेना मतलब पुरानी सीट थी वो वाली जैसे अपन ने फाइनल के बनाए थे वैसे इनके अभी बना के रेडी थैंक यू सो पर्सनालिटी 9 कैन ग्रो वेरी वेल विद द पर्सनालिटी 3 मिस अचीवर बट फॉर द पर्सनालिटी 9 6 आर द थ्रेट ऑन चैलेंजिंग पर्सनालिटी बिकॉज़ फ्रॉम द 9 रेड एरो इज गोइंग so see from the personality nine red arrow is going to loyalist now in your organization find out who always listens with the boss authority and they will not go against them the such a persons are loyalist and if loyalist persons are surrounding you they will be challenging to you so you should be away from such a personality that companionship will not grow well and you can find out very easily who are loyalist they will never talk about the uh, against the leader or authority they will obey authority blindly blind loyalty is there they are loyal je apan kai means in marathi or hindi we say differently apan chamcha manto spoon manto to like that but they are just uh, loyal to some people so you will not grow well with them so this is the meaning so let us now go ahead personality 9 so the, you are the mediator you are the peacemaker so what are the others positions and external claim you just focus and your affirmative sentences i believe i am peaceful and accommodating write down this statement is very very good that is the affirmative statement to you whenever your emotion starts disturbing whenever you will be frustrated whenever you will be not in good mood whenever you will feel challenging to yourself so you just start saying i believe i am peaceful and i am accommodating okay because why this affirmation is very important so see here personality nine so what is the fear of personality 9 see conflict so personality 9 are peacemaker personality are peacemaker means they are under expressive anger so they will not express their anger always they will accept whatever will be anger points to them they will not express because they don't want conflict because their fear is conflict yes or no you just answer in chat box but you are always desire is harmony but you are trans over accommodation means you will be under pressure you will go on adjusting with such people peoples you will not speak out you will not say their uh, something even if you don't like them even if some uh, point will not be agreed to you you just be over accommodate to yourself and there you are not humble to yourself you are trans in that accommodating themselves true or false can you accept this yes or no all have given personality c please put up this whether this is your fear conflict whether you run away from the conflict whether you like peace whether you like harmony ma'am shalini ma'am you are personality c dr neelam personality c can you please answer sujata ma'am neela ma'am shalini ma'am can you answer are you there our break is at 1 o'clock are you listening me shalini ma'am something went wrong can you hear me anju ma'am anju ma'am yes, can ma you hear yes yes ma'am yes, yes okay ma uh, so madam reply on chat box ma'am shalini yes. prajapati madam reply on chat okay. box okay thank you ma'am oh i just failed to see <laughs> she is replying on chat box yes yes chat box only i was observing but i was on the top shalini ma'am yes okay sujata ma'am yes okay you have to reflect shalini ma'am and sujata ma'am you are most active thank you both of you are just supporting me 
and because of you i am here continuing the session thank you so all <coughs> answers are coming yes 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 nobody is saying no don't be over accommodating with me huh? what i am asking yeah, but, shalini ma'am but not conflict ha ah, you don't like conflict yes or no shalini ma'am you don't like conflict conflict you run away so you might have uh, you might be running away from me not uh, saying yes um, saying no no this is not true assessment okay let it be but always i have seen whenever i conduct session people accept the personality whatever is coming that is why i like this model that don't happens with the other model so daniel model is giving best result that's why it is popular keep this a pdf with you it will help you life long because we go on changing so we should assess ourselves these are nothing but strength weakness our sort analysis okay and once you will know your personality one you uh, sorry personality nine you are peacemaker or you are mediator then you can know much more about you so you watch the youtube then how personality nine behaves in classroom how personality learns based learning styles of personality nine you will start knowing yourself more and more and more this is the very good model and outcome so today you have come to be peacemaker one stamp given to you so there are number of videos the enneagram perspectives teaching style you can assess you can watch learning styles of you and once you will know learning style of you then definitely what happens now i think sharing video will be difficult to so once you will uh, watch that uh, video about your learning style then you will come to know how you learn most and then use that uh, way that techniques to enhance your learning outcome okay so this uh, uh, these are the links or you can just put in the chat box you can also see that so let us see who is the smart reflector who can reflect upon which type of leadership means your personality and why it is important that personality 9 so personality 9 i told you again i will show you personality 9 see the personality 9 affirmation is write down this statement whenever you will be disturbed because some conflict will happen you will be very disturbed but at that time you have to recall that you are peacemaker you are mediator so whatever has happened that is not too serious that is not 50% disturbance or dispute or conflict has happened because you are peacemaker even if little thing will happen uh, then you will make so much mountain of that and you will be disturbed you will be stressful then stress will start coming to you then emotions will start coming to you so you had to stop this thinking by affirmating yourself no i know that i am a peacemaker then whatever has happened that might be 5% not a 50% and then you can control your emotion because i told it helped me when i came to know i am perfectionist then whenever something um, used to be wrong i used to tell me no i am perfectionist this went wrong but this is 5% not the 95% so i should accept this uh, whatever went wrong i should not put myself too in a negative mode or too much emotions and really it help me a lot to control my emotions and make me happy so really peacemaker whenever some incidents happens in your home in your department in your college you forget you just say i am peaceful and accommodating means i am accommodating i am i peaceful that's why whatever conflict has come uh, due, due to uh, not accommodating sometimes you will think people are not accommodating you oh they are making group they are in, not involving me in the dinner or oh, they are not involving me in the party or oh, they are not involving me in the work so work is going in department and they are not involving me you will be frustrated too much at that time you have to think no they are accommodating me i am over uh, miss my trance is that not accommodating me is my trance <clears throat> that is over excessive 
I am over excessive that for the accommodation. That is my fear. So forget that. No, everything is going normally and very absolute uh, so good things are happening. I should not disturb. And I am peaceful. And that is my nature. So no conflict has happened. No dispute has happened. Nobody is accommodated, not accommodating me. These are all my over excessive thoughts. So this way you will improve yourself in leading yourself. This is leading yourself. And once you will start leading yourself, then you will just grow with personality 3. I told personality 3 and personality 6, you have to take care. So personality 9, personality 9 will grow very well with the 3. So performer. Means generally they just go on performing, performing, performing. So you just start then leading others. And when you will start leading, just have companionship with three. You will go on excelling and definitely you can start leading other numbers. Because now there is a strength of your companionship. You can do much more good work with the personality three. And this is what today's session, leading ourselves and leading others. This model will help to lead yourself and to lead others also. Keep this model with you. Just give assessment to your department. Find out who is personality 3 and start doing work with them. And definitely you will lead other members in a team. So all members in, other, uh, in your team, both of you will start leading. So this will be your journey to lead others. Start doing that and see. Now I would like to have reflections from you about you about the session that is the who is the smart reflector how you will use this enneagram model can i just try this telling you something i wanted to show but i am not sure let us see whether it will i have opened that video but uh, so this link is not starting Okay, I cannot go directly. Well, immediately this video is open in the window. Let it be. That is why Zoom should be there for such a organizing events. Zoom is more friendly to the all peoples. That is my request to organizers. Okay. So this I told. This will give you for all the personality who could not assess themselves in today's session. So everything is given to this personality 9 I just discussed. Because all personality cannot be covered in the 2 hour session. Usually I do for the participants personality. There is no meaning also. No sitting orders also. This is, uh, so see, again, personality three. So this easy going, self-efficacy type, respective, reassuring, agreeable, and complacent. So these are the qualities. You can take snap of this. So these are the qualities of you. Basic fear, I told, loss of separation, not accommodating. Basic desire is peace of mind, inner stability. And this the reprint. This you forget. This model is different. You take this. Okay. So key motivations of the personality 9. They want to create harmony. That I discuss harmony and peace. In their environment. They want to avoid conflicts and tension. I just discuss with examples. To preserve things as they are then whatever would upset and disturb them, they run away from that. Okay. So the meaning of the arrows I just told you and then directions also I told you. So who are the examples of personality 9? So these are the examples of personality 9. Indian, you can just see somebody as an Indian. Okay, you can just type personality 9. You can watch the videos of your 9 personality. You will come to know more and more. Okay. 
any questions any suggestions you reflect reflect upon your understanding of the session who is the smart reflector let me see anybody want to reflect anybody want to say can you unmute anju ma'am can they unmute themselves uh, no madam only panelist oh unmuting is not also possible okay then in chat no, box can, then okay they can, can unmute themselves they can unmute yes ma'am please unmute participants please unmute <clears throat> uh unmute yourself and speak reflect something because usually i take breakout sessions and personality type together then they discussed and then they reflect because i don't like as you can anybody reflect one sentence about yourself what you understood about you from today's session awaaz bhi nahi aa raha matlab hai kya Hello, can you listen me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, so ma I I am requesting participant. Can you reflect one sentence of the today's session? What you understood oh, about you wonderful. because leading yourself. Session. Leading wonderful yourself. session, ma'am. I have seen. Pardon. Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. Yes. Myself Sujata Sumkur. Uh, mm. uh, thank you for uh, such a wonderful session, ma'am. Uh, it is very helpful to uh, find uh, our uh, weaknesses and uh, strengths. What you understood about you, ma'am? What you understood about yourself, your personality, about uh, Persona your uh, personality, ma'am. Peacemaker and all. Is it acceptable to you? Really, are you a peacemaker? Ma'am, ninety uh, percent agree, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. It is very informative session, and I think uh, by the uh, by attending this session, I know my weakness and the all points where I have to work to become a leader, right? Yes. So, uh, I have to work on that points. Yes, ma'am. Definitely, you have to work. because this is the just beginning you came to know which is your peer which is your trans in which quality yeah, uh, you in which quality you give less marks so that yeah, can be your goal uh, statements today you write down take agenda of one quality how you can yeah. improve that uh, one quality <clears throat> and at least at least keep which is your peer in mind so whenever yeah, such incidences arises uh, you just make yourself calm as a mathematician uh, first of all we have to know the problem how to solve and uh, what is the solution that's the after thinking moment but uh, first of all uh, uh, this session helping me to uh, uh, find out my weaknesses right then yes. i have to work on them yeah thank you and thank you so much so what's your name ma'am dr neelam yes your surname i just asked neelam <laughs> dr neelam rajput rajput okay because in middle i was asking so fine uh, dr neelam ma'am uh, there are some and, uh, disturbances in the department ma'am yes, uh, yes, sorry for uh, that but uh, no, it's okay, uh, i don't i don't issues. want to miss any uh, minutes for your lecture ma'am okay thank you from beginning uh, only you are attentive thanks yeah, for your uh, reflection thanks for your uh, response also because uh, really i don't like passive things some answers should be there uh, really it happens in online because a uh, lot of yeah, uh, things issues are there let it be uh, so thank you now if you are interested to ask me anything suggesting anything you are open any suggestions are we welcome yeah ma'am i not uh, i i have noted your contact number and email id also that yes that was on first yeah. slide i will tell you 
या थैंक यू सो मच मैम usually my organization forms mou with the uh, different professional engineering colleges uh, and that uh, mou uh, means many times i conduct uh, workshops under mou only and uh, different topics we just conduct for the holistic development of students faculty mostly i conduct for faculty but nowadays i have started uh, in uh, see my contact mail id mangaldhenwan at gmail dot com and my number so anybody can contact me on this number to organize various workshops fdps for your organization students or any doubt or any further query about this workshop if you are not getting how to put goal my goal uh, setting and manifestation workshop is also doing well because leader has to have the capability of setting goals and manifesting them how to make our goals successful that is very important quality of leaders if you want to become a good leader then you must uh, know the process of goal setting scientifically how to set goals scientifically how to manifest them and all uh, participants are welcome to contact me because i conduct every day pre sessions my organization has uh, formed different groups of different districts and every evening morning i conduct a pre sessions uh, meditations now book uh, reviews we are starting from uh, 10th 11th of december book review 10 days one important books uh, speakers are discussing all our pre programs uh, every morning at 10 o'clock i conduct for holistic development for our own development then um, the students brain development program which is very free it is starting from 23rd december to 3rd december uh, 3rd jan 10 days christmas holiday so you can make your students you can make your children uh, enrolled for that uh, 10 days program which is very free and in evening from 7:30 to 8:15 45 minutes every day so you can also attend that is for students and parents and it's free from viangal so you can ask details to anju ma'am uh, first uh, if i could get your numbers i can add yourself in my group and then there you can know about uh, all the pre programs so that is about thing i want to tell you yes now fine anju ma'am thank you i am over i am finished we can just start second session at 2 uh, o'clock Uh, thank, thank you so much ma'am for this much productive information especially for identifying what kind of courses are you going to do because you know thank you so much you guided us um, uh, properly on leadership uh, self and other thank you so much ma'am okay thank you thank you all Bye. participants thanks i am leaving now and you are really sorry for the event it's okay थैंक यू वेरी मच मंगल मैडम आर यू एबल टू हियर मी मैडम अच्छा अच्छा लेफ्ट हो गए This session is concluded. Uh, we will join at sharp two. Who are joining online and so on YouTube? Kindly join sharp at two p.m. Okay.